sightseeing place where I'll be getting my tickets for the tour. I can see I love Cape Town badges. Okay, let's see if they can help me out with these tickets. Uh, yes, I'm with. Oh I'm Courtney. Courtney, nice to meet you, Courtney. Okay, Courtney, tell me which attractions can I go? Can I visit? Like you can visit 70 attractions with this for free at one price. Um, right. You can go to Table Mountain. You can go to on. But Sunset you said one price. How much? So it depends on which package you choose. There's a two day, three day, and a five day unlimited. So the two day is I think about a thousand nine, thousand one hundred basically, and then you for two days have unlimited um, access to any of the seventy attractions over those two days. And then obviously same for three and five day, and then there's a premium one. And the one is exactly the same except you get a premium experience. So tandem, safari, uh, sidecar ride, whale watching, shark cage diving. Um, any one of those. The but program. then what if I have 24 hours uh, to, to spare, not five days or four days, and then the rest I'm going elsewhere, like Stellenbosch and other Depending places. on what you want to do, you can still get your value for money from a two-day pass in one day, but obviously okay. that would mean doing them all the very expensive things in one day, if that all makes right, sense. All right, so yeah. obviously the price that you would be paying over that one day will then be more than the two-day unlimited. Um, but otherwise there's another package called the flexi package and that is uh, you can basically choose three or five attractions so you don't have unlimited it's a little bit cheaper but you can only choose three or five of the attractions and it's longer so you can use them over 14 days Nineteen sixty-five, um, Ford Mustang the Ford Mustang came out in 1964, so this was the first year of production model, which makes it extremely collectible. Um, the car is pretty much, it's had a few things done to it in its life. It's had a respray and the interior has been done, but other than that, the car's body and everything is original. It's got these Shelby rims on, which are absolutely insane. They look good and they, they really hug the road well. Inside, it's a full speed cruise o matic um, automatic gearbox, full speed. Um, the car obviously is a lot of fun because it's rear wheel drive. You really get a lot of enjoyment. It's very loud. It's got a 302 small block V8, so that really makes a nice rumble. Other than that, the car is pretty clean. It goes, it goes smoothly. And yeah, it's got a very traditional Mustang look. This was the first look that designer Ford did for the Mustang with the exhaust coming out the body and all that. They kept it. They kept the design. Yeah. You can still see this design in the new models. Yeah. They still kept those three lights. Two and lights. That. Three lights. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is, like, once it's a it's a good car, they don't want. They did change it, but very little. So in that instance, it's still got that Mustang. That whole thing about it. Oh. An Emilia Ferrari. Yeah, that one there is rare. <laughs> it's a 355 F1 Spider manual. Super rare cross. From 1995. Very, very cool top. Um, these models were actually the perfect balance between performance and oh. everyday drive. Yeah. And also, they looked insane. This is the first kind of Ferrari I started to enjoy. Um, when you drive it, it's gorgeous. It's got that traditional Ferrari look, which they followed on to the 360 and onwards. Mm. So. But then the, 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 the 360 yeah, Spider was quite exceptional. Yeah, it's the 360. Yeah. yeah. This was basically the 360 was a follow on of this. Yeah. Um, but this kind of set the, the standard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set yeah. the standard of. What you what you expect? Because even the the, the, the the five star man, yeah. they still maintain that. Like that. Yeah. Thing is, everything upwards from a four three sixty, the four thirty, all that was just insane. It's just crazy those cars up there. All right hand drive convertible, and they made very few um, in the world. There's only roughly about four or five mm. in South Africa that's in right hand drive, and it's an original convertible. 
you can tell tall. because the, the actual body, the actual frame is higher than normal. Normally it's lower. So it's to compensate for the support for the roof. So it's stronger so it can hold the roof. And if you look here, the roof is curved. So what happens is if you took a normal one and try to cut it, the roof would be straight. This was designed to have a curve and these lockings here for the roof mm. so that it can't be copied. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then so they had some sense of style. Yeah. yeah it's very, very narrow. narrow. Yeah. Which made it even look even cooler.